Hey guys, it's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe. So I wanted to talk about a movie that I just saw for the second time, and that is Tammy and the T-Rex, which I believe uh, an alternate title was Tanny and the Tyrannus T Tanny and the Teenage Tyrannosaurus Rex. Um, that's a mouthful, so I could see why they changed the name. Um, this movie had stunk up rental stores, I guess, back in the mid '90s, uh, starring Denise Richards and I think it's Paul. I want to say Paul Walker, uh, the guy from Fast and the Furious. It also has the gentleman who plays Bernie at Weekend at Bernie's in it. <clears throat> this movie just got a R-rated remaster uh, done by the lovely people at Vinegar Syndrome, who put out a lot of underground weird movies. This was one I hadn't heard of. Uh, I gave it a whirl in terms of the PG cut, and now I've just watched the R-rated cut. Um, everyone's saying the R-rated cut is so much better and gorier, and it is gorier. As for being better, it really wasn't my cup of tea. Um, I felt like it was kind of a try-hard film, not extremely funny, but uh, it is meant to be a light-hearted sort of goofy comedy with some gory elements. Uh, the story of the film is Denise Richards and Paul Walker like one another, and he's trying to win her affections. Meanwhile, she has a boyfriend who is very, very uh, possessive, like hits her and treats her poorly. And him and Paul Walker are going at it because he knows Paul Walker wants to get his girlfriend. He proceeds to kidnap Paul Walker and beat the crap out of him, drop him off in a wildlife preserve uh, where a tiger or a lion or something mauls him. Um, then the doctor, who is the gentleman from Weekend at Bernie's, shows up to the hospital and transplants Paul Walker's brain into a robotic T-Rex. It sounds goofy. It is goofy. Um, there are some silly characters. There's this over-the-top black friend who comes off very uh, feminine. Uh, Denise Walker kind of comes... Uh, Denise Walker. Denise Richards uh, sort of comes off like a, I guess, dimwit college, high school kind of girl. And Paul Walker isn't really in the film too much, maybe a quarter of it, because the rest of it, his brain is inside of a robotic T-Rex. Um, everyone was going on about how this R-rated gore cut just made the movie a ton better. Uh, I think it was very, very similar to the PG cut. There is some cooler scenes with the gore and the blood, uh, but it doesn't change the, the dynamic or the story at all. Overall, it was an okay film. I could see someone maybe who was young or, or you know immature watching it as a youth and finding it to be really goofy and funny and over the top and then wanting to revisit it. For me, since I hadn't seen it, it didn't do too much for me. Um, like I said, I've now seen it twice, both the PG version and the R cut, and I could see why Vinegar Sim Syndrome would want to put this out for the fans of you know the silly movie, but it's not necessarily something that evokes much in me um and i'm not knocking you if you like loved it it's just really getting a lot of talk right now on reddit and facebook in like the boutique blu-ray crowd uh the people who buy you know vinegar syndrome and shout factory and scream factory and uh arrow and like you know all the kind of blu-ray releases that are a little under the radar maybe b movies or horror movies so I'm glad I saw Tammy and the T-Rex uh, because, like I said, everyone and their mother just keeps talking about it, but I wouldn't necessarily say it's something I have to watch a third time. I, I don't really, it's fun, it's goofy. I mean, maybe if you have a few drinks with your friends and you're hanging out, just just taking in the craziness of it all, of the story, um, you know, it doesn't try to be serious. It knows it's a goofy film, but I, I also don't think the R-rated cut and PG cut are that drastically different to really warrant the purchase if you didn't love the film in the first place. So uh, kudos to Vinegar Syndrome for putting out such a strange underground B-movie, um, but it's not necessarily something I'd need to revisit again. Uh, let me know, guys, what you think of Tammy and the T-Rex. Did it strike a chord with you and you loved it and I'm just being a little harsh? Thanks, guys, for watching. It's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe. Be good.